Hey, Chris, from up in the Silicon Valley uh, angle dangle there. So listen, brother, I'm curious about what you're doing up there on the pivot, uh, what you probably already been doing, but, you know, more uh, applicably here with the shutdown and people, you know, with the COVIDs uh, about, uh, you know, the actual listing, right? So no open houses, are you utilizing the virtual technology? I'll share it with you from down here. You know, what comes to mind for me is the Matterport, you know, 360 stuff with the dollhouse. And it was a piece of technology that um, I used really early on. I was impressed with, but the concern I had with it and the reason why I didn't utilize it moving forward is I kind of felt like it was more of a, of a way to grandstand for listing agents to impress and show off to future sellers. Like, hey, look at my tech. But it kind of got in the way of what's the point of marketing in the first place? It's to get them to the home. So much of real estate from a buyer perspective is the experience of actually being inside of a home. The emotional deal of like being walls in, driving up through the neighborhood, you know, all of those, you know, unconscious elements that make up the 80 to 90% of the decision making matrix of getting excited about a home in the first place. And I kind of felt like, geez, if you feel like you're getting all that just from behind the clicks, like you could very, you can make a very binary decision not to even go and show up and experience that just from whether or not you thought that the virtual walkthrough thing was legit or not. So um, the pivot that I'm making moving forward is that I'm letting go of that narrative, whether it's true or not, it's not important. And I'm just getting committed to the fact that it's a health issue. Right. So, you know, if there are folks out there that can get, you know, even what 60, 70, 80 percent of what it's like to go there live, but they could do it from the comfort of clicking through the deal behind the computer and they get to stay safe and, you know, not get the covids. Well, then I'm all in, man. So I'm really curious to hear what's true for you and what you're utilizing uh, in that regard, brother. Hey, what's up, Jesse? How's it going, brother? Yeah, man. Hey, up at you up here in Silicon Valley. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as you guys are doing down in, uh, in San Diego and SoCal. You know, we've had a really good adoption um, with all of the virtual technologies that we've been, you know, deploying to make it so that people can still see houses. Um, in fact, we've had we've actually had houses in my office that have sold. We're talking, you know, two and a half million dollar houses that have sold where the buyers never even saw the house. They had ten offers on a house, and none of them actually ever set foot in the house. So it can definitely be done. You know, we're we're relying heavy. Um, definitely, myself, we beefed up on the Matterport. Um, you know, definitely doing more of the video walkthroughs. And that's been kind of an interesting process because you don't realize when you're actually talking to someone, kind of the things that you say and how you use vocal fillers and ums and ahs. And that's been, you know, definitely a learning process where you kind of have to edit yourself as you're going through and showing somebody the house virtually. But, you know, the technology is there. And what we're seeing is the, the people, it's letting everybody get, you know, like you said, kind of like 70, 80% of the sense of the house. I tell clients, hey, go do a Google Street View drive-by. So they can cruise the whole hood, basically, you know, via Google Street View. They see my Matterport. They see my virtual walkthrough where it's kind of like me. I'm, I'm taking you through the house. I'm pointing out, hey, here's what's cool about this kitchen. You know, here's what's awesome about the backyard. And so between all of that, they're able to get a pretty good picture about what's actually happening with the, the house. And then only the very serious people kind of get to the very end and they're like, hey, you know what? I'm really interested. I need to get in and see the house. And then, you know, then we obviously are allowed to get them in the house with, you know, proper protection and um, process around that. But, you know, the, the adoption has been pretty strong. And then what we're seeing now um, as far as like virtual open houses, we're really kind of evolving our process around that. Actually, some of my partners, we've got a really strong process so that we can actually make a virtual open house almost like a regular open house. And, you know, we, we use multiple people and it's actually pretty, it's pretty cool. So we'll talk about that offline. But um, yeah, technology is there. And I do think that this is going to be part of the new normal, not just for the period of when you know people are sheltering in place or kind of still fearful of, of catching COVID-19. Um, but I think that people are going to realize, hey, you know what? I can be much more efficient with my time. Instead of killing a whole day to go out and look at three, four houses, I can look at the three, four houses online and I can go out and see the one or two houses that are really interesting. So I think that you know there's going to be you know, changing how we do things moving forward. But we'll see. Anyways, man, have a good afternoon and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hope you're doing well. Stay safe.